This is the Hyper 212 Spectrum V3 CPU cooler from the well-known brand Cooler Master. This cooler has ARGB supports with different motherboards such as Asus, Gigabyte, MSI and ASRock. And it supports different Intel sockets and the AM4 and AM5 sockets for AMD. For the speed, the fan can run all the way up to 18 rounds per minute. The heatsink got 4 aluminum heat pipes which is more than good for cooling. So first let's start with unboxing by opening the box from the top. The first thing you see is a sponge for package protection. Then we find the goods. First we get a plastic bag full of stuff that we will be needing. We get a black plate for Intel sockets. Some brackets to hold the cooler to the AMD motherboards. Some more brackets to hold the cooler to the Intel motherboards. And also some more brackets to hold the fan to the heatsink. We got four but we'll be only needing two. We got two screws and finally the cooler master, master gel thermal paste. Back to the box we got something, maybe it is for the protection from the humidity, maybe. Now we got the ARGB fan and the manual. The cooler master fan has two cables. One for the cooler powering and it is a 4 pin connector. The other one is a 3 pin 5 volts connector for the ARGB controlling. And we got the warranty paper. And the last thing we got is this heavy heat sink that has 4 aluminum heat pipes. The components are well built with high quality materials. So everyone, I'm currently having a Wangji Fang CPU cooler which is a Chinese cooler. And we're about to do a benchmark on Forza Ryzen 5. So right now we are on settings, it is already 71 degrees celsius and of course I'm running on AMD Ryzen 5 4600G. So let's go ahead and do a benchmark of it and test the temperatures. So for the settings guys I'm going to be using the resolution of 180p and for the graphics settings I'm going to be using these settings. So most of them are set to medium and some of them are set to high. marking is done so i think the temperature went all the way up to 70 71 and 72 i think and for the uh, thermal paste i have been using on this cpu cooler is the gd 9 
100 which is a decent thermal base from aliexpress so if one's go ahead and turn off the pc obviously uh, detach or disconnect every cable and uninstall this cpu cooler and install this new cooler onto the cpu First, let's start with removing the old cooler and detach its connector from the motherboard. We will also be cleaning the CPU from the old thermal paste and we will be removing the pre-installed AMD brackets from the motherboard. Now we will be using the two screws to screw the metal AMD brackets to the heatsink. Then we will install the whole heatsink to the motherboard so everyone i have ma finally managed to install the radiator so um i have struggled just a little bit with installing it that's the thing uh i had to get some help from uh, someone in here to uh, help me install it and i have added this cooler master thermal paste over here that i have actually got with this uh, CPU fan so now guys I think it is time to go ahead and install this CPU fan so I think it goes somehow like this I think yeah now it is time to install the fan to make it easier it is better to remove the RAM sticks then we'll bring the fan and connect the 4 pin power connector to the motherboard since there wasn't a lot of space I struggled again it is more advised to remove the motherboard from the whole case and install the CPU cooler. Just saying. After plugging the power connector, it's time to bring the two brackets to hold the fan to the heatsink. It should look like this. Okay everyone, so the CPU cooler is installed. Now let's go ahead and turn on the PC for the first time. I mean not the first time, but the first time after installing this new Cooler Master CPU fan or CPU cooler. Uh, by the way, the ARGB uh, header is not plugged into my uh, into my motherboard because uh, my my motherboard doesn't have an ARGB header, which is something unfortunate. So let's go ahead and turn on the PC. Yeah, here's the uh, the power button. So let's go ahead and turn it on. Three, two, one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that looks insane, that looks so beautiful, yeah that actually looks so nice, oh yeah look at that, by using the same settings on here we are going to be doing the benchmark using this new CPU fan, the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Spectrum V3. So. Again, as I said, we're going to be using the same settings and uh, yeah, let's go ahead and start the benchmark mode.
So as guys just saw, using the new cooler, the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Spectrum V3, we got the temperature of the CPU somewhere between 40 and 42 on the game Forza Horizon 5. And the thermal paste that we have used for this benchmarking is the Cooler Master Master Gel that actually came with the cooler itself right inside of that box. And the case that I'm actually using is the Raid Max x921 uh, which is a pretty much good case for uh you know aeration and stuff it has six pre-installed fans which is perfect for uh keeping the uh components way cooler so if you guys want to check out the video of uh, unboxing this case make sure you go ahead and check out the description down below so everyone i know this today's video is not a gaming video but it's still a video which is worth watching so if you guys watch till now make sure you go ahead and let me know in the comment section below by saying the word cooler master is cool and obviously guys make sure you go ahead and leave a like on this video subscribe to the channel also click on the bell icon so once we see under the featured video thank you so much guys for watching take care and we'll catch you up in the next one goodbye guys